my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my, me and my, me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my, me and my kicks. What is going on, YouTube? It's your favorite YouTuber, me and my kicks coming at you with another detailed review and on foot of the Air Jordan Retro 9 MOP edition. Stay tuned. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching this video today. I really do appreciate it. Please smash that like button if you like this video. Also, comment down below what's your favorite colorway in the Air Jordan 9s. It could be these, the playoffs or the Space Jams, the breads, whatever. Just comment down below what's your favorite colorway in the Air Jordan 9 and we can chop it up in the comment section. Also, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, what are you doing, man? Hit that subscribe button. Takes nothing but a couple seconds and you'll be notified of when I drop future videos. Now enough talking. Let's get into these shoes, man. But before I get into these shoes, I just want to give you a little bit of backstory on why this shoe was created. Back in 2003, Carmelo Anthony, he was a freshman for the Syracuse Orangemen. He led his team to the national championship. I believe they played Kansas that year and they won. And he also won the MOP which stands for most offensive player that year. It was definitely a great time in Carmelo Anthony's life. So Jordan made a shoe to commemorate that moment. Now enough talking, I'm gonna get into these details. If you can look closely at the shoe, it got that gold with the brown. And the reason that it has the gold and brown accent is because the NCAA trophy, also the MOP trophy, has like a wood finish and then the inserts are made of gold. So that's why they put gold and um, brown all into the shoe. As you can see, getting into the details of the shoe, the shoe comprises of an all leather upper, and this part of it is a white leather, similar to the Space Jam 9s that dropped a couple years ago. So as far as like leather quality, it's definitely decent. And on the size right here, it mimics that uh, that wood grain finish that's on the MOP and NCAA trophy. And as far as like the material on this shoe goes, it's leather and it looks like it's like laser engraved to make it look like it's wood. As far as like the quality of that goes, it's pretty decent, but it could be way better in my opinion. Also, when you get towards like the lacing of the shoe, it has those gold aglets that make you think of the trophy. Also towards the bottom, it has that gold as well. And towards the back, it has a uh, 15 because that was Carmelo Anthony's number in college. Also on the Denver Nuggets as well. Then as you get towards the tongue, you got that signature Air Jordan. Then as you get towards the bottom of the shoe, it's a translucent outsole. It does not glow in the dark. And it got that red jump man. Also got that red jump man on the bottom. But just to give you a quick little look at the shoe, great quality as far as like the leather goes, but it could have been executed better. And it also got that gold globe on the back. As far as sizing go with this shoe, I would suggest going a half size up if you have a fat or a wide foot. The reason being is because this uh, tongue is connected to the size of the shoe. So you need like a bigger opening to get your foot in there. So I would definitely suggest going a half size up. If you have a narrow foot, you can definitely go true to size in this shoe. These shoes retail at $190 and how I came across my pair was basically this was a sneakers exclusive. It only released on the sneakers app. So when they launched, I put in my size and my payment information, hit the button. And then like maybe five to 10 minutes later, it said that I won the shoe. So I was definitely lucky to get it because I know millions of people tried after these shoes because they're so rare. So I'm glad to have gotten a pair of these shoes. As far as my final thoughts with this shoe, this shoe could have been made a little bit better. Like, I mean, even though you paid 190 bucks, since this is a commemoration to Carmelo Anthony's MOP award, I felt that it should have been a little bit more oomph when it comes to this package. Like as far as the box goes, you get a regular Jordan box, nothing special about it. Like as far as the shoe goes, I wish they'd like they'd use like a leather on the inside of the shoe. They should have said they should have had the pull tab say something more. Like as far as like overall quality, like you know it's decent, but for a commemorative shoe, it should have been better in my opinion. And looking at the shoe, it really does remind me of the Ben Nines and also the DB Nines, which are two great shoes in my opinion, especially the Ben Nines. That's definitely one of my grails. But as far as like as far as like overall thoughts, this shoe is decent, but like. If this was a GR, it would definitely sit like everybody wouldn't get them. The only reason that they're hyped now is because they definitely were limited. So that's why they're really hyped. Now, without further ado, here's an on foot look of the Air Jordan Retro 9 MOPs. You know, it's funny. People think you get up so high, but you can't be touched. How did I get so high? Can't be stopped. But reality is. 
Your last. Somebody tell me why. Hello. How did I get so high? Listen. When I did talk your ish, huh. I was a normal guy. Real. Then it turned into a hit. Yeah. Now you meant I got high. <laughs> Fader put me in the blog. Yeah. Then my name started to rise. Yeah. I thought I was a star. Huh. At least I was in my eyes. Now I got people calling, huh. offering me their lives. Huh. They think I'm worth a fortune. Huh. Shit, I ain't even signed. Think we're great. I know I am in my mind, so I don't think it's hate when I see somebody shine. That's why when I call up Saint, it tells me that you'll be fine. See, I do believe in fate. We dictate our lives. So if we get second place, we cannot control our pride. That's why I'm here to say, I pray I don't fall behind. I just might get irate, being that I'm up so high. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching this video today. I really do appreciate it. Smash that like button if you like this video. Also, comment down below what's your favorite colorway in the Air Jordan 9s. It could be these. It could be the white and baby blue ones. It could be the Space Jams or Playoffs, whatever, man. Just comment down below what's your favorite colorway in the Air Jordan 9. And if you aren't subscribed to the channel, what are you doing, man? Hit that subscribe button. It takes nothing but a couple seconds and you'll be notified when I drop future videos. Also, make sure you follow me on all forms of social media. IG, Snapchat, Facebook. I'm on all forms of social media. And lastly, peace.